Hi and welcome to EVPM News. Uh, there's been a lot of talk of the Koenigsegg Quark electric motor, uh, especially because it's a raxial flux type motor. So it's a hybrid of radial and axial flux type configurations. Uh, there's also been a lot of talk about its size. It's very small and doesn't weigh all that much. Uh, delivers a lot of power. Is very efficient um, and is small and lightweight. So here's the quark motor next to a can. Uh, it's not that much taller. And here we see the quark. These are two quark motors integrated with maybe a gearbox. Uh, and this is called the terrier unit. Um, this can produce twice of, so two times 250 kilowatt peak power. So that's uh, let's say peak power 500 kilowatts what's that 620 maybe horsepower uh which is just so powerful you put uh one in the front one in the rear and that's a thousand horsepower plus right there um i think they have one more image here with the quark the terrier and uh the inverter uh david uh this inverter is interesting because it so the David inverter is an in-house developed six-phase inverter for the Gamera. Uh, so that's very cool, very powerful. <clears throat> so it looks like there the quark motor is a six-phase type of coil arrangement. Um, so it's pretty cool. The whole inverter unit weighs just 15 kilograms, 33 pounds. And placed next to a can kind of get sense of the, the size of it. And this is a nice module, very simple uh, to manufacture in the sense of the case. Um, maybe I don't even know what the manufacturing process is for for this typical, but since it's in-house, I guess uh, this is a very smooth and sophisticated uh, uh, and then a very strategic move by Koenigsegg to, to kind of get control of their electric uh, drivetrains and powertrains, their motors, their inverters, uh, everything, and to kind of get everything in-house so they can quickly build, manufacture, uh, iterate, change, improve. Uh, so that's very powerful. And I guess you can see the six phases coming out here. You have the probably the battery power coming in through here. I'm not sure what these two tubes are. They might even be cooling at this point because of just the insane amounts of current going through these types of circuits. And so this is the Gamera. I think the Gamera is a hybrid. You have the free valve technology right here, which uh, shrinks the motor, the internal combustion engine size. And I guess they're complementing the, the motor with uh, one of their quark or terrier units. Uh, as an engineer, I'm very impressed, I have to say. It's just my personal opinion. Here's the torque curve of the quark motor. So you have the peak torque right here at 250 at about 4,000 RPM. Wow, so... Among the first applications for the Quark is the Koenigsegg Gamera hypercar, which will feature three of the motors in combination with a downsized internal combustion engine for a total of 1,700 horsepower. Yeah, the, uh, the motors will help the Gamera deliver a brutal acceleration at low speeds and, and will then work with the internal combustion engine to help deliver a continuous record speed push to 400 kilometers per hour without any torque or power losses. So that's great if you could uh, somehow synchronize these two types of motors and engines to produce a very stable power output. Uh, the driver won't even feel any lag. It'll just shoot right off as soon as you touch that uh, throttle. So Mata Rimats and Elon Musk uh, hang out in New York. These are the two geniuses of our time. Uh, Mata Rimats is of course the the founder of Rimac Automobile. Uh, Elon Musk <laughs> does not need an uh, introduction. 
And I'm sure their conversations have got to be really interesting. Elon Musk is so knowledgeable. Uh, Matarimats as well. Um, I'm sure when they put their brains together, uh, they'll be able to come up with some brilliant, beautiful stuff when it comes to especially electric cars, I presume. Um, and yeah, maybe Elon Musk can buy a <laughs> Rimac Nevera. Yeah, I just thought I'd share this. Uh, finally, these two guys meet. I don't know if they met before or not, but... Uh, I'm glad they, uh, they, these two should uh, have a conversation a lot more often. I think uh, these uh, pioneers and brilliant people should get together a lot more often and have conversations. So I've seen uh, this channel pick apart uh, Tesla Model S before and they usually have a lot of cool ideas and, and they are very knowledgeable when it, when it comes to engineering. So here they are picking apart the new Tesla Model S Plaid motor. Uh, first thing first, there's the inverter, so they just... Uh, Pluck that off. We can kind of see the inverter here, the control chip, which probably controls the gates and so forth. Let's see what they got here. Tesla Model 3 inverter circuit. Okay. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, transistors. So this could be a maybe a six phase or a, actually they're um, come in pairs. So there's two transistors, I think, for each phase to um, have more current um, and then six transistors so there's gotta be six probably six phases or maybe there's three phases and two pairs for each phase i'm not sure yet so this is a comparison of the two capacitors there that aren't here the, these boards are very very similar and um and they're made to be modified a little bit so that uh so that tesla can um upgrade over the uh, over the time that that the the product will be in the market so you're picking it apart let's see what this is the gearbox this is the gears so I, I talked about this in the podcast with auntie about the bridges uh and how tesla's on their carbon wrap motor they've uh, removed the bridges for i think it said 25 percent increased efficiency so I'm interested in seeing how that plays out here. Okay, here's your coil configuration, laminated core. Here it is, the carbon wrapped rotor. So it peeled off the carbon. Um, that's something we've never seen before and that that's kind of amazing. But then we put the green paper on here and um, that is not what I was expecting to see. If you remember before, I was telling you that all of the different laminates are slightly skewed so that you don't get pulsing. This one is, uh, is doing something magic. This is not skewed. This is in line and, uh, and I've driven that car quite a bit and I detected no pulse whatsoever. I'm <clears throat> astounded, I guess would be the right word. I, I've never seen anything like this before uh, on a, on a high-speed, high-power motor. And I think it's because uh, Tesla's uh, invented some new physics or something. Yeah, so as the rotor spins, uh, uh, the fields are going to interact and create um, these pulses uh, due to the change in the magnetic fields. By changing the, the, the configuration and geometry of those lines, you'll be able to uh, reduce kind of the pulse is kind of like um, what the laminated core is doing to eddy currents and so forth. As this spins fast, you'll be able to feel those uh, magnetic pulses kind of, they'll probably be shaking the car a little bit. They peeled off the, the, the copper wrap. See the magnets go in between here and, um, and then you've got an end cap that holds it in place. Then you wind it with the, um, with the carbon fiber. I've never seen anything like this before. And what we're looking at here is, here's your laminates on the shaft. Here's the magnets. By the way, these magnets were all glued together. They've patented this and they're claiming in the patent that they're actually getting a 25% increase in peak torque and peak power because of building their laminate stack this way and using, using, these, to remove, using these pieces to remove the bridge that was here. So if you haven't already, you should check out the podcast I did with Antti. He's an EV motor specialist and he goes over the Tesla Model S carbon wrap motor and we talk about the bridges and how that uh, changes the uh, effect of the motor. There's actually an explosive charge on the inverter. 
uh, they actually trigger it. So let's take a look at the explosion. One. Oh, that was a big nothing. Ah, oh, you're kidding. I was hoping for a lot more than that. So that explosion is there as a failsafe to separate the connections inside of the inverter in case of perhaps an accident or something like that. So this is the uh, video of me and uh, Auntie in the podcast talking about the, the bridges and the uh, Tesla Model S Plaid carbon wrap motor. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, please do check it out. It's timestamped, so you can jump around to whatever section you're the most interested in. So the yellow circled in regions are the bridges, and those are the ones that have been removed uh, due to the laminated plates that uh, they can see in the video. So I want to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're staying updated. I hope my videos help you. Uh, I hope this was informative. I hope you learned a little bit about electric motors and staying updated. So thank you. I'll see you in the next episode.